In this video, I'm going to be explaining how one can go about saving files from a hard drive. Let's make believe you have a computer which is completely destroyed and you're not able to salvage anything except the hard drive from the computer. You get a new computer and you're wanting to transfer some of these files uh, from the old hard drive onto your new computer. These two hard drives are the common ones we'll see today this one being a SATA drive and uh, SATA drives are probably the ones of choice being used and installed in most computers these days for today's demonstration I'm not going to be using this one so much because most computers in existence use the IDE type of connector and that's what we're looking at on this hard drive so the first thing you need to do is extract the hard drive from the old computer. Now once you've got the hard drive extracted, there are a couple of options one can use to get the hard drive turned on and connected to your new computer. The first one I'm going to detail today is one that I've been using for over 10 years. Basically, what you're looking at is an external hard drive case that I purchased a long time ago and after using it the way it's supposed to be used which is to install a hard drive inside it and then connect it to a computer I learned that I could also extend the uh, cable the ribbon cable that you see here and pull it out of the case I also extended the power connection and by doing this I was able to then use this external case to uh, connect whatever I wanted to my computers and many times it was hard drives but in some cases I need to connect something like this this is your basic CD drive so it's not uncommon for me to have a laptop without a CD drive and I need one or I might have a tower that has a hard uh, has a uh, CD drive go bad so with this situation or this this uh, configuration I'm able to now use this external case which also has firewire and uh, USB 2 connections in the back so I simply take one of these uh, connections in this case I've got a USB 2.0 cable and all I'll do is plug this in to my new computer and bam I've got I've got my uh, CD connected I can use this exact configuration right now to connect to this IDE drive ribbon cable would go here power to here and once I turn on the power the drive would be on connect the USB 2.0 cable and I can read files from my new computer or I should say from my old hard drive and copy them onto my new computer. What you're looking at here was a unit I got a few years ago called a uh, SATA to USB 2.0 converter. It comes with a power brick and it's got a, a USB connection. And basically the SATA connector will attach to the hard drive here and once the brick is powered on via USB I can now read files off of this hard drive. I've used this a few times but really haven't had a major problem with SATA drives going yet because I've only been using them for a couple of years so fortunately my hard drives remain intact and I've not had to employ that unit too frequently but I have used it to connect new hard drives for formatting and things like that. This external connector I do use quite a bit. This is an IDE type connector and it's called Easy IDE and I like this one because it's easy. It's small, uh, the power brick is very small and basically all you need to do is take the connector, line up the pin connections, there's a little space that you'll need to match up to the back of the hard drive to make sure you get a a connection that's not going to break any of those uh, 
pins. This is something that can happen if you don't line this up properly when you go to snap it on. You can definitely force it on and break some of those pins, so be careful. Once the connector, the adapter is connected, you then connect power and uh, take your power brick, plug it into a power supply, and turn on the CD. I'm sorry, the uh, converter, and the hard drive will fire up just like that. Basically all I need to do now is attach it to my new computer via USB and I'll have uh, access to the files that are on this hard drive. Like I said, I use this one the most because I just have so many computers with IDE drives and I think that's going to be the case for a few years to come. But right now you can get devices like this out in the market. There's plenty of other devices that do both IDE and SATA. You just pick pick one out. I don't know that anyone's better than the others. I've got a few as I've showed you. Uh, I think the key is knowing what type of hard drives you're mostly going to be dealing with and making sure the unit you get will work with most of those drives. So I hope that helps you in salvaging files from an old hard drive that has important documents you need.